how do you get a washboard stomach like we saw on that? But it's primarily a matter of nutritional control, calorie control. As long as you know what your maintenance level of calories is and you go any number below that, you will lose body fat. Of course, the, the further you go into a calorie deficit, the more fat you'll lose at a faster rate. And the secondary factors, of course, physical training, building up the muscle tissue. But even if you are training and building the muscle tissue up and you have the fat, you're still going to appear fat. Foods like, let's say, mayonnaise and the cakes, are, are those the type of foods that will cover up the muscle? No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's a see how common misconception. Again, it's all calorie control. It, even if, if you were eating below your required or maintenance level of calories every day, let's say you're eating 500 calories below your maintenance level, all those calories could, could be comprised literally of table sugar and mayonnaise and you still lose fat. There is no really one single food or group of foods that could be called fattening. It's your overall calorie intake that determines how fat you'll be.